Hello, thanks for checking out ORCID. This video will show you just how easy it is to get started using ORCID's decentralized VPN marketplace and service. If you want to learn more about ORCID before you get started, just visit orchid.com to read all about it. So, we have some OXT. The next things to do are to get the client app, make an ORCID account, and turn it on. Let's dive into that process so you can see how to get going in just a few minutes. First, let's launch your preferred web browser on your mobile device, like an iPhone or Android phone, and visit orchid.com download. You'll see here that we have a button you can tap to access the mobile app directly. Let's tap the one for iOS, and we get brought over to the App Store, and can now tap Get, and then Install. Now that it's installed, let's tap Launch, and we land on the home screen. Since we already have some OXT, the next thing to do is tap Custom Setup. Once we tap that button, we are greeted with several options. We will come back to the client app shortly. You'll see on my desktop that I'm at account.orchid.com. This is Orchid's account management interface where you can create accounts, add OXT to them, withdraw OXT, and more. In the account management DAP, we can see how many OXT and Ether we have available in the connected wallet, with some options below for creating the new account. Let's choose the option for the DAP to generate a signer key for us. As soon as we do that, a QR code is generated that contains the account's information. That QR code and the underlying information should be backed up immediately for safekeeping. Let's click Copy and place that code somewhere safe. By default, the Account Management DAP will choose OXT and Deposit Balance values for us in order to reach a 50% efficiency, meaning that even if the cost to claim an on-chain lottery ticket rises by 50%, your account will contain enough OXT to issue that ticket. Let's set it just a little bit higher to be safe and place the rest of the OXT in the balance. Let's select Create Account, and we will have two transactions to approve and pay for. The first transaction creates the ORCID account. The second transaction takes the OXT and deposits it into the ORCID account and the Nano Payment Smart Contract. While we're waiting for those transactions to be confirmed, let's go back to the client app. We're starting from scratch using our own OXT, so we tap Link ORCID Account. We have the QR code available in front of us, so choose Scan. The app should prompt you for camera permissions. Let's approve that and scan the QR code on the desktop screen. If the transactions are still being confirmed, you will probably see a red circle with an exclamation mark beside Manage Profile. That means at least one of the hops doesn't have enough OXT in the deposit, but that will be fixed as soon as the transactions are confirmed. Now that the transactions have been confirmed, in the mobile app, select Manage Profile, and we will see the current hops configured. If you tap a hop, you'll see the balance and deposit, along with the Ethereum address and signer address for that hop. You will also see the option to share the ORCID account. For now, let's go back to the home screen and let's start using ORCID. Select Connect, and you may be prompted to allow ORCID to add a VPN configuration to your device. Let's perform the steps necessary to approve that, and now ORCID is connecting. As soon as it's connected, you can check whether traffic is being routed through ORCID by opening the menu and selecting Traffic Monitor. You'll see here traffic from Reddit, Apple, and others. If you want to test the performance, you can visit a site like speedcheck.org and start a test. The ORCID node we're connected to right now is performing very well. That's all there is to it. In less than five minutes, you can be using ORCID, the crypto powered VPN. Thanks for watching. Please email contact at orchid.com with any questions you have.